What's up guys, let's talk about a new Eastgate case option. Welcome to Life of Acro. I'm Acro Brandon and this is my life. Today we're going to talk about a new Eastgate option. Uh, if you didn't watch the last video that I made, I had one that talked about some of the best Eastgate cases that you could find online, at least in the US, that are domestically available, that you can get fairly quick easy and at a reasonable price. Now I happen to find this one on the forums. Uh, there's a guy, it's Comet Boards. He's from Minnesota, some Minnesota, somewhere. Uh, I actually got this one out of steel because he was blowing some of his initial ones out. It has some minor blemishes, but you know, who really cares? This thing's gonna be staring at the ground the entire time. But what was really exciting about the cases that he was offering is that he had a wide variety Price is like 50 bucks currently on the website, which is a pretty good price in my opinion. Um, but he had slim ones, tall ones, this will fit a double stack, and more importantly, this was meant for a concave deck. So the other two from the other video, the Psycho Tiller and the Torque Boards, they're really flat. So they will bend around a concave deck, but then you lose some of that space as it starts to flex and go around your battery and your components and all the other things. For me, I have a Yokoher deck. It's 41 inches. It has a really hard concave, and this thing fit the concave beautifully. Let's take a look at how things are actually going to fit inside of the case. Now, this thing says it'll hold a 12S5P. I know it will, along with some additional electronics. Uh, I've already started to build a seal. I'm going to go into detail on this in just a little bit so you have some different options. Okay, so I'm going to put just a couple basic items in here. First, we've got this battery. This is a 12S4P battery, fits perfectly inside. I have a charge and discharge BMS, which is going to fit in here just so nice as well. Don't mind my ghetto plastic wrap job, this is just for testing purposes. And then when I feel like the battery is doing what I need it to do through testing, uh, I will shrink wrap it final. Uh, then we've got the Fock Box Unity, which is going to go back around here somewhere, right? I left a little channel in between here so I could get the phase wires through all of that good stuff. Uh, and we still have a ton of space right here in between this edge to edge. So this is amazing because we can definitely get a few more cells. I would assume that if I'm gonna go one more 12 S 5 P in parallel, we'd probably be right to here anyways, which would take up this space. But you still have a lot of space here from the side to side, especially from the Fock box, which is really good because then you can use that to put in like a battery meter, your the anti-spark switch, uh, and there's really just a lot of space here in between these top the top and the bottom uh, to fit everything that you need because obviously if you think about it this is actually going to be glued to the board so there will be dead space between the deck and where this case comes together so lots of really good space uh, in this enclosure definitely will hold a 12 s 5p I bet you could probably even squeeze a 6p in here if you're super resourceful with the things that you're putting in your box or if you're not running too many additional electronics or a buck converter uh, let's take a look at how this fits on the deck itself. Okay, so here's the new deck that I'm going to be building on. This is a Yokoher deck. It's 41 inch. It's a double drop. If you look at it here, it's got a really heavy drop. This is about an inch and a half, which I really like, and it's going to be super cool. Um, I opted for this New York or a Manhattan print on the bottom, which looks cool now, but unfortunately, once you put the case and everything else on it, uh, a lot of this is going to disappear. So the problem with the Psycho Tiller was that it was just a hair too long because the drop comes here, but it also curves back down so there's a drop and then it levels back out and from point to point it was just a little bit too long so with this case I'm just gonna lay it up here it fits perfectly underneath and the concave is super perfect so with the seal everything matches up uh, there's a little gap right here but once I start to tighten all the bolts and everything down it's gonna fit beautifully and then coming around the front side over here you can see it just matches the curve really really good no matter how you slide it now, let me show you what it looks like with the torque board enclosure on top of here, just so you have some perspective. Okay, so now I have the torque board on here. It actually doesn't look too terrible. This is substantially better still than the Psycho Tiller one, and it's not Psycho Tiller's fault, uh, but the torque boards one actually matches not too bad. The torque boards has a mild, mild concave in their case. I'm gonna be using this one for a different build. I'm in the midst of two builds or I don't know if you want to call them upgrades or whatever uh, because I have so many parts from upgrading my first deck that I might as well build two decks and one's going to be a dedicated all-terrain board and then one will be a street board but without even any seal 
It's actually matching quite well. The reason for that is because this case was actually is a little bit shorter, so it fits in between those two drops a lot better. The psychotiller was very flat, and the gap was actually quite huge. It looked kind of like it was just sitting up here, and I was trying to figure out like how am I really gonna gap that. So let's talk about a seal option next, and then we'll wrap up with all of this. So let's talk about the seal and what to use. Now on my first build, I just used some of the stuff they sell at Home Depot. It's like weather stripping, um, it's fairly cheap, and it's kind of squishy. It's a little water resistant, but it's not waterproof. <laughs> and I've tested this, and I definitely get water in my case. Uh, so I wanted to try something different. I was looking for something on Amazon that was like a hard rubber. They sell neoprene and a bunch of different things, uh, but I'll put a link to what I purchased here. I actually got a really good deal on it. It was actually a four foot by eight or a six foot, I don't even know. It was like a four foot by three foot slab of rubber and I got it for $20 because it was the last one. Come to find out that when the price renewed, it shot back up to $120 for this entire sheet. I was like, what? So I've just been cutting strips out of this. It seems a little ghetto at first, but actually if you glue it on here with a little E6000 craft glue, glue, this stuff is not coming out at all. And then if you look real close, I don't know if you can see this, but there's a little sheen. What I did is I came back through here with some silicone and I laid a fat bead down and smoothed it right into the corners. So now we have a really nice tight water seal here. Um, and then in the back, I just left a little channel right there so that I can squeeze the phase wires through. Uh, and then up here, I'm actually gonna just cut out a little groove because I like to have a headlight on the front of my board that's hardwired in, and that'll just come underneath. Uh, and then I'll use a little tape or something to seal and bridge the gap on that. So what you do is you just, Figure out how big of a strip you need. You need to start cutting out some rectangle pieces, shaving off the sides, and bada boom, bada bing. This thing is nice because, like I said before, there is no give to it. So I'm expecting that when I screw this down to the board, it just make a huge, hard, tight seal with a lot of screws all the way around, and hopefully I will never have water getting into my case again, uh, especially because there's days when I have to ride when it's like wet on the road. Not raining, but it's wet, and even in those instances, I only went like a mile, and there was definitely some water that had poured out. Yes, this is going to be the place where it could get in the most, so I'll probably have to figure out how to get a nice piece of tape over the phase wires and make it a little more water resistant, but I don't think anything's ever 100% waterproof unless you uh, channel the wires through the deck or something like that. At any rate, this is Life of Acro. This is just a quick update on another option on where you can get a nice case, how to do your seal. The links will be in the bottom in case you want to purchase from this person or see what else they have, and then links to the other videos for the other cases that I did before. Till next time.